It is my 43rd birthday, and in this video, you're going to see me uh, celebrating with some friends in the way that I like to celebrate, which is to lean into the resistance of life. I took the hardest exercise and made us do it. I woke up at around 3 o'clock this morning to get to the gym at 4.30, and we started the day off with snatch grip deadlifts. That is, in my opinion, the toughest exercise. Man, that was brutal getting through those snatch grip deadlifts. We also hit up some benching, got to smash on 405, got to throw on a slingshot and hit 455, got to throw on the X sleeve, which are now available on markbellslingshot.com and got to enjoy my birthday with some good friends. And then at the end, make sure you stay tuned for the whole thing because uh, we got the unveiling of uh, something new and something different that my team got me that I'm really pumped about, really excited about. Catch you all later, enjoy the video. party we got going on here today we got a birthday party going on you know it's my birthday so we are gonna do some bench pressing just because I think it's in the spirit of my birthday because it's important how much you bench right but we're also gonna start out the, uh, today with uh, what I think is the hardest exercise hardest barbell exercise and that is a snatch grip deadlift and I wanted to I figured you can't really have a party without snatch. So we've got the snatch grip deadlift going on. I know that Sean and Weezy are going to like it. You know, these are married men, so like they don't normally get a chance to do this kind of thing. But we're going to snatch grip it today. Uh, a snatch grip deadlift, all it is is a regular deadlift with your hands out wide. And then if we have the ability to, we might build up underneath us a little bit to make the range of motion even worse, make the range of motion even harder. But yeah, that's what we're doing. That's how we're partying today. So... We would try to go outside the power rings here. Go there and there. Those of you that are scrawny and unjacked, this is a great exercise. This will help build up your upper back, help get you some traps, help bring up that trap game. Typically you'd want to do this exercise with some lifting straps, but we're not going to use lifting straps today because I don't want anybody to hurt their back. So that'll automatically limit the amount of weight that we can use. So the trap bar deadlift, we're still trying to use our legs, um, but it's just hard just because of how wide your grip is, the range of motion is greater, and it's just a difficult exercise. So I'm still trying to squat into it. kind of view it a little bit like a squat conventional conventional deadlift squat building up all through here slapping on some mass to here it's also gonna get the traps you guys can see this guy moves a lot better than some of the rest of us he's able to squat down in pretty good position and keep the back flat Really, the main thing is just the back stays flat. Yeah, so, back is like, so for today, we're gonna do a couple sets of eight reps, six to eight reps. Uh, whatever we go for, we're gonna try to make sure that the back stays as flat as we can keep it. Let's go with a 25. Uh, you also might want to try a little wider stance, so maybe like a regular conventional deadlift stance in a little closer. So for this, you might want to just widen out a little bit. It might help you drop your hips down a little That's lower. Good. My hamstrings are still sore from like 15 days ago. Oh. 
this. Yay! We don't need a lot of weight on here for this. This is gonna get bad quick. This one's gonna hurt a little bit. <clears throat> Have a little, <clears throat> a little sting to it. But could be worse. I could be like that guy over there. Not heavy, but it wants to roll away from you. Weird thing about this exercise is like no matter how hard you squeeze, you still feel like you're gonna lose your grip. When you lose your grip, you'll notice how you lose positioning. And that things like that don't happen with 135 pounds. They only happen when weight starts to feel heavy, especially into your hands. <clears throat> so this is a great learning uh, experience when you do an exercise like this. The longer that this exercise takes, the harder it's gonna be. So if there's any room to speed it up and move a little faster but still be safe, then that's what you want to try to do because the less time under tension you have, the easier it's going to be to lock it out and to hold on to it with your hands. But that's the same with any sort of any dead, any style of deadlift. Uh, you want to be able to finish it quickly. You want to be explosive with it, but at the same time, not at the sacrifice of your form and position. Form and position gets tweaked even if it's just from your hands. You start to go like this, start to round over because your body's like, oh crap, we're losing it. And in order to protect your bicep and protect yourself away from tears, your hands will just open up and that'll be the end of it. <laughs> you won't be able to hold on to it anymore. Yep. Yep, yep. Speaking of grip, this hand was just like, nope. Yep. I have it right here on my fingertips. Same thing so. happens, like this is a great movement for any, any athlete. Same thing will happen in like, so like football, you go to grab onto somebody's jersey and they're running away from you. You grab somebody's jersey and they start running away. You, you will let go because your forearm and bicep are like, this is too much for us. That's what's gonna be, whatever the weakest link is, you're gonna let go in an effort to not tear something. Your body's like, this isn't worth tearing a pec, this isn't worth tearing a bicep. And so it will, no matter how hard you wanna try, the training's not there, the strength isn't there, and so the hand will open up. Sometimes it just hurts too, right? If you grab a jersey, sometimes that shit just hurts your fingers a lot too. Is it my turn again? Yeah. Just put it everywhere. Put it here, over there, over here, over here. I put some on my on my wiener, on my uh, squat suit, and then uh, that was in my last training session before I fell with 1,085, and then I had to actually fall on YouTube in front of everybody with chalk on my wiener. Could use a hook grip on this too if you wanted to. Be able to hold on to it better. You could tuck the thumb in there and squeeze the thumb, but we're just I'm just going with regular grip today. I'm just trying to squeeze the bar the best we can. So here we go. Tried to make it look easy, but I was dying right there. <laughs> Woo! So same thing, just went on an elevated surface. Make the range of motion a little bit further. Make the exercise worse than it already was. <laughs>
15 reps. I'll do uh, tree plates. Okay. Just a quick three. Dr. Evil in the house. Oof. All right. I'm just going to do like one rep. Make it, make it kind of easy, I think. Okay. Up, oh, one. There you go. Surviving. These uh, X elbow sleeves, for anybody out there that's had a hard time getting their skin to turn gray and purple, this is gonna be the product for you. This, these X elbow sleeves are released on my birthday, which is today. But see, like if you want purple skin, you want your circulation cut off, you've come to the right place. These are extreme, so I don't want you returning them being a little bitch, being like, oh my God, they were too tight. My fingers got numb. They're X elbow sleeves, bro. They're tight. They're the strongest things that you're ever going to experience. Strongest sleeves you're going to put on. So they're going to be extreme. So deal with it. Good. Uh, I should be able to do this. I've been lifting this weight right here since I was like 18. So if I can't do it now, then you guys should just do away with me. I mean, I haven't done it in a few weeks, but it still shouldn't be. Hard to do. It'll, I, I think it'll be easy, right? Right? Now I'm getting nervous. Don't worry, dude, I See what it. you guys did. Always easy. This YouTuber is not like the others, a little different. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not an influencer. I'm somebody that actually uses the methods that I talk about. I don't tell you to weigh your food. I don't tell you to measure your food because I don't do that. I see that a lot in this fitness industry. Bunch of fake ass suckers out there trying to tell you one thing and then they do another. I've run into it too many times. This is my product. This is my gear. And this is what I throw on when the rubber meets the road. When shit gets to be hard, when shit gets to be difficult. When we're trying to lean into the resistance of life and wake up at three in the morning to get here at 4.30 to work out on my 43rd birthday. When stuff gets to be tough, I throw this shit on. Here we go. Not too shabby, feeling good, feeling strong. I'm gonna do a super set right here. I'm gonna do a super set with the uh, slingshot. I'm gonna do a uh, I'm gonna do a few reps with and without the slingshot. So I think I will do. Yeah, I'll try a few reps without it, and then I'll put it on and uh, see if I can get a couple more. Maybe like three and three or something would be good. Or three and three and five. Maybe three without, and five with, something like that. I know, yeah, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt. Whatever the case is. Forty-three reps. Oh my god. Up. Oh. One more. Let's go. There you go. There we go. Nice dig. There we go. All right. So there's seven reps. Whoops, a daisy.
than I thought I was going to. Felt pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure I, I can turn many different colors, like a chameleon. I can turn, uh, I got another diff another level where I turn like gray. I don't know if I was gray right there, but I go purpley gray. It's really nice. Just holding your breath, man, holding your breath. Um, Trying to endure that pressure, right? And I think I made it out okay. We'll find out later, maybe. Gonna uh, get in 43 reps here. And um, as, I, as I go through them, like, it might be pretty damn hard, so I might have to uh, ration this out in like two sets or something, but I think I can do it all in one. Especially if I cheat. Plus, I got the X elbow sleeves on. Did I mention that these things are available on my birthday, which is today, December 10th? <clears throat> All right. I think that's 43 right there. count it is way over way over the amount <laughs> did like 60 something reps i think lost track in there somewhere all right i did 43 reps on the flat I'm gonna try 43 reps on the incline that's gonna hurt really bad The viewers are like, you only did two full reps. <laughs> did the best I could, okay? An exercise like this, you can think of the actual like function of the pectoral muscle is to try to bring these arms in like this. And if you stretch kind of up and back in here, it's, it's a really, it's kind of a hard stretch to deal with. For me, I'm not very mobile, but it really does open you up a lot. Could even make a case for doing exercise like this could potentially help your squat because it can help open up your shoulders, help open up your pecs so you can hold the bar a little bit better when you're squatting. But this also can help a lot with the development of your chassis, how I can come down in here low, like this here. And I can even use this to my advantage where I get here, and this is now touching my elbows. I can try to squeeze harder, because there's just like an extra little bit of resistance there. I can come up on high, get some different angles of it. Can even try to actually cross over. <sighs> Which is really hard to do. Ooh. It's a simple exercise. Anyone can do this at a commercial gym. Put the cables down low. Really let the arm stretch. And then we can also move the cables too. So the amount of different things you can do off of this is amazing. But I know a lot of 
powerlifters really struggle, they end up with pec and shoulder problems. And this could be an exercise. Josh is much more mobile than us. You saw when we squatted the other day, he had his hands in real close. You're still feeling a good stretch in there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get this anywhere else, feels like. No, nah, you can't get stretched like that. Like, some people can do it kind of on dumbbells, but it, it won't feel the same. The thing that we're trying to think about here, we're trying to think about the insertions deep in through the armpit, where everything's all attached. We're trying to take that at its longest, at its longest, like, length that you can get that muscle to, and then we're trying to shorten it as much as we can, which would be going slightly across the body. And you can even do these one at a time. If you did them one at a time, you'd even get more because you'd be able to cross over a little bit more, even twist your body a little bit more, get a little bit more pec flex. But you can flex down with the pecs, like towards the ground, or you can flex more across, or you can kind of keep both pecs up high and flex in here. There's a lot of different ways you can attack it. Exercise like this, for those of you that don't love to do uh, regular flat barbell benching. I'd advise that you'd start your exercise, start your workouts with something like this, then maybe even move into dumbbells and then finish on the barbell uh, regular bench press because you'll get so much more out of it. You don't need to try to use heavy weight. You don't have to worry about it hurting you at all. When you really get into how these muscles are supposed to move and how they're supposed to operate. It, it's so difficult. You see we got 20 pounds on there and the exercise is, is very, very hard. Because we're really just trying to concentrate. We're trying to get the mind-muscle connection really wired hard into each other. Thank you, sir. And we do want the elbows to be bent a little bit. Just if, if the arms are too straight, it's probably going to be a little too stressful. You still want to kind of wiggle into place and get the shoulders set just like you would be doing a regular bench but you can even kind of regular bench some of these too, especially once you're fatigued, like that feels a little easy. But once I'm fatigued, fatigued from the flies, I can do some pressing. So we're here like this, trying to go pinkies together. We're gonna to come way out. And right here is where it's really important to try to let everything stretch. Shouldn't be painful. Shouldn't hurt at all. Stressful, but not painful. And if we want to get into a good rhythm or range and pump, we can go here. Try some pressing. I'm trying to shoot a fireball at you. Arukin. Oh man. Brutality. This wasn't by me, but I'm gonna show you. Basically. I think Smokey put this together. I think it was Sean. Sean, maybe one of Sean Wayne or Smokey, one of them, um, put together, got together everybody who trains, and then put in some money to uh, get you a little gift. Sweet, it wasn't with my own money. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what do we got underneath here? Oh, a new homeless shopping cart. Oh, you shouldn't have. How many speeds does it have? Oh, it's got a place for the phone. Woo! Hey, take it for a spin. <laughs> take it for a spin, see how she works. Try her out. Let's see. Gathering goods. Sure, it works good. All right. Don't mind me, just me and my new homeless shopping cart. Feels uh, fuel efficient. This is the fucking Tesla of homeless shopping carts. Damn. Look at that. Let's see if the ladies are impressed. Drive it by them, see if they want to get picked up on it. See? Totally works. 
that was the test. It's good to go. Well, thanks everybody. Appreciate it. Thanks for following along on the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Keep sharing this shit out with people. Keep telling people to go over to Mark Bell's Power Project. Check that stuff out. This guy's working really hard on it. I'm working really hard on it. We're working hard on it together with our boy Ensema and our boy Smokey. Really appreciate all the listeners over there. Appreciate all the new followers over here. If you're not following Shred again, you should be. This guy said that he can't. He said the word can't. Not allowed to say can't around here. There ain't no can'ts, as Mickey from Rocky once said. Um, he said he can't get abs. And me and Nassim were like, you can get abs and we can get them for you by Christmas. So he's going to have a new set of abs underneath his Christmas tree uh, this year. He's been working really hard for 174 pounds, you said? Yeah, yeah. So 100, 174 pounds of uh, hot tamale over there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you start at? Like 190 something, 198 or something, yeah, right? So if anybody remembers Sarmageddon, I was 200 pounds back then when I started. Oh, never I, mind. You're that guy. When I started Shred again, I was oh. 192. So 174 this weekend. So yeah, I don't I don't do the math thing, so I don't know how much weight that actually is. Insert 200 pounds, I think. Yeah, so I've lost about 200 pounds total. <laughs> um, finally, getting some definition in my midsection. Uh, I've been posing the arms, the arms yeah. and shoulders are coming together really good. Yeah, yeah everything's. I mean, if, if you would have told me at the end of 73 days, which is what I had total, that I would look the way I look today, I'd be like, no, there's no fucking way. Like, it's impossible. And it's like, here we are, we still have two weeks left till Christmas, and it's like, I can't, I mean, I don't even know what, what's going to happen from now till then. He's going from looking like a wooden nickel to looking like a shiny penny. No, oh, that doesn't sound that good. I'll How about a dime? It. I mean, if it's currency, dime I'll take sounds, it. <laughs> a dime sounds better. Better right? than some pesos. If you can use it to, to buy something, you'll, you'll yeah. take it. Yeah, he's doing great. Make sure you're following all that stuff along. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much, and uh, happy birthday to me. The X Elbow Sleeves are now live. Uh, at markbellslingshot.com so make sure you check them out strength is never weakness weakness is never strength catch y'all later